Hey guys, welcome back to Tell These How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use AnyDisk Remote Desktop. So we'll be showing you how to remotely control your computer. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be looking for a good application or web application that you could use anywhere to basically control your computer wherever you are. Um, this case is going to be AnyDesk here. So AnyDesk is a platform that you could actually uh, try it for free if you want to use it uh, for free. But there are, there are going to be some limitations to it if you're going to start using it. But in this case, how do we actually start using it because we want to uh, basically start using it. So first things first is you need to open up any browser, go to anydesk.com and basically just access the main homepage. Now from here, what we need to do is just click on the download now. And once the download is complete, you should be able to see the anydesk.exe file. Now in this case, what you need to do is open it up and it should look like something like this. Now in this case, there are going to be a few things that you should consider looking it at for. The first thing that you need to do here is you first have to view your address here. So your address here is going to be your address for the other party so that they'll be able to access your computer. Now in this case, do not share your address here to other people. But in this case, you could go ahead and just save it somewhere. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we have to ensure that the other computer also has any desk on it. Now same thing, go to your other computer. So this is my other computer here. I already went to anydesk.com here and downloaded the .exe file and the application itself is now actually open up on my screen. So by the way, if the download doesn't start immediately, make sure that you choose Windows here. But if you have Mac OS, Android, or Apple TV here, make sure that you choose the appropriate one. But I only choose Windows here and the download actually completes it. Now in this case, let's just open up the .exe file here. Again, this is what it's going to look like. Now in this case, once it actually open up, what you need to do is make sure that you copy the address and go to the other computer and paste that address into the enter remote address section. Now at the very top here, just go ahead and press that and paste your address here. So currently I actually uh, have this address here. So let's go ahead and press on enter so that we'll be able to access that address and it should actually boot up and says connecting. So connection in progress, please wait. So let's just go back into the other computer that we're trying to connect and it should actually pop up a notification here asking us if we want to start connecting. Now, typically, if you start connecting on this one, it's going to ask you if you really want to allow your any desk into your firewall, just answer yes, as well as uh, make sure that you accept any of the uh, settings that are required here. Now, in this case, again, it's going to pop up a firewall here, but since I actually already accepted that before, it's no longer going to be uh, appearing on my screen. But in this case, if it does appear, make sure to answer yes. Now, in this case, what we need to do here is make sure that you click on accept here so that you are accept accepting the connection here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on accept. And once you've done that, it should actually start the connection. So let's just go back into the first computer here, which in this case is going to be the other uh, connecting PC. Now, this might take a few seconds or a few minutes to properly establish the connection itself. But once the connection is complete, you should be able to access the other computer. Again, it might pop up a, another section here requesting permission to properly access your computer. So in this case, just click on yes here to fully complete that and it should actually continue again. Again, just wait for it. It requ uh, requires any additional permissions. Just answer yes and it should complete itself or the connection itself. Now, also, the connection itself has this chat feature that, for example, if you want to uh, basically have connection or message the uh, the person that's actually connecting to you, you could basically uh, type a message here. They would receive a message on their other end. In this case, this is going to be the desktop. As you can see right now, we're now able to access the other computer. It says session started. Now in this case, when you actually click on somewhere here, it's going to uh, basically change uh, the 
um, UI that you see here. Also, the speed itself actually depends on your internet connection and how far you are to each other, as well as how fast the computer. So if the computer that you're actually accessing right now is not that fast, then the response rate itself might not well be that fast as well. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start using it as you would. As you can see, I'm already moving some things here and minimizing any tabs or application that is open up on the other PC. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start using it. For example, I'm going to go to type here to search. So let's just type in, in here. Again, sometimes the response rate can be slow depending on how fast the other computer. But since I'm only using a virtual machine here, it's actually kind of pretty slow. So you just need to bear with it. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do whatever here. So you could go ahead and just type in here. So it's going to accept that. Just type it in here. You can see we were able to type in settings here if you want to view these settings for the other computer. So yeah, so using any desk here is actually pretty easy and pretty simple actually. So if you immediately, immediately want to use it, you just need to go to your website, enter the address on the other computer, and you should be able to start using it, which is actually pretty easy. It's actually pretty easy to use, uh, uh, but yeah. So that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.